I wonder if after this video, will people actually still think that the message that I sent forth is actually against women? Here you have this woman by the name of Evangelist Kasawal or Kasawali. Uh, excuse me if I'm, you know, mispronouncing the name. But she has, you know, pretty much she's saying that she found Jesus, right? And as a result, her wardrobe has changed, right? Check this out. So as you can see, in times past, she wore clothes that really accentuated her curves. She would show her hair. The clothes were pretty revealing. But this is how she dresses now. Now that she found Jesus, she's pretty much covered from top to bottom. Now, this is what's so sick and perverted, right? I want you to actually check out the comments of this video because it is so disturbing. So here you have this one dude by the name of Destroy Young. Why give up your life for some imaginary God? Live the one and only life you know for sure you have. If there is a God, he is the one that has a lot of explaining to do. So this guy is clearly an atheist, right? Or agnostic. It is him who plays hide and seek. The world is exactly how it should be. If there was no all-powerful, all-loving God, I mean, just look around you. Does this look like the work of an all-loving God? Stop it. Get some help. Now, this guy is butthurt because <laughs> this woman chooses to change her clothing. Uh, here you have this another thirsty ass dude that's by the name of J0002 that says, how can you choose this life over the beautiful life you had as an entertainer? Who says you can't slay and serve God at the same time and get this all wrong? I wish you all the best. I hope you fulfilled. Wow. He's mad because this woman chooses to actually cover herself up. <laughs> and she actually responds by saying, do what is best for you. That is your choice. <laughs> I agree with her 100%. Look at this one slimy dude, Mr. Green Place, saying, come back to the dark side. You see, so when you have people literally saying things like that, do they actually care about this woman? Or do they want her to simply reveal all the goods? You have this dude by North Philly Kid. What did he save you from? You see, th th these comments is unbelievable. It's crazy. Now you have this one dude called Big Den 415 saying, It is not the way you dress that will bring you closer. It is your heart and spirit. Oh boy. Now this is what makes this video disturbing, right? Here you have a woman who actually is trying to find Jesus, right? Now I'm not, I didn't go into the doctrine that she preaches. I don't know what she truly believes. I'm, I'm not even concerned about that. What I am concerned about or more so interested about is the fact that she claimed that she has found Jesus and I'm happy for her. And in the process of finding Jesus, it, it has convicted her to actually change her wardrobe. And here and still, you have a bunch of thirsty ass men who are actually condemning her for the change of her wardrobe. They're actually saying that you can still slay and serve Jesus at the same time. That's Use your common sense. You can still dress us worldly. You get what I'm saying? Now, let's let's keep this a buck, right? You know, there are women out there, right? No matter how much clothing that they put on, you know, you're going to see their figure, right? You know, this woman, I'm going to just keep it a buck. Clearly, she she's top heavy, right? So, there's no amount of clothing that she can wear per se that's going to um, hide that. 100% but I think she's doing a damn good job I mean she's trying her best to cover herself it's, it's definitely loose fitting right it's definitely loose fitting compared to the clothing that she has worn in times past where you can see you know there's nothing left to the imagination you can literally literally see her silhouette it's you can see everything you get what i'm saying and you have these thirsty ass dudes that actually want her to continue dressing that way what's so wrong with a woman finding jesus and actually saying you know what as a result i'll actually want to change the way i dress you see, and this is the reason why I started off the video by saying that, you know, after this video, will people actually think that the message I, I, I sent forth, right? Because this is called The Message Sent. This channel is called The Message Sent. The message that I sent forth, am I truly against women? When I say, you know, dress modestly, 
I'm saying that for a reason because I know there's a bunch of thirsty ass dudes like the dudes that I have read off in those comments that they want they want you to make merchandise of yourself, women. They want you to expose all the goods, not because they give any damn about you coming to Jesus. No, they just want a free peep show. And now I'm here as a man telling you that you should actually love yourself. You should value yourself because you are the apple of God's eye, right? The Most High loves you and wishes to actually cover you and save you for your husband rather than, you know, every Dick, Tom, and Harry peeping, right? Peeping at you. Save yourself for your husband. So when I say something like this, it's because I... As a man, I know how men think. The same way you, you know, you women, I'm sure you know how women think, right? There's a video I did in times past where there's this other woman who actually does exactly what these men want. <laughs> this woman does exactly what men want to do, slay and still serve Jesus, right? Check, check out this, these ridiculous videos. Listen, I pray that you cross over well in 2023. I pray for financial breakthrough in this upcoming year. If you're sick, I pray for healing over your life. The Lord has brought this season a season of bounty and abundance. Even if the devil attacks, the Lord is going to turn it for your good. I want to tell you that today, this season, you are going to receive a blessing. You do now, why is this a joke, right? You can see, like I said, she's here trying to say, yeah, life is going to be blessed in the year 2023. You, I, but the Lord has a blessing for you. And she's here. It looks utterly ridiculous. She's walking in the snow. <laughs> God, she's walking in the snow in a tire that I know damn well it doesn't protect you from the cold. So what are you doing there? You get what I'm saying? What are you doing there? And to prove it to you, you have, like I said, women know women. Look at what some of these women said in the comments. So check out this one woman by the name of the bl Blonde Melanin saying, Girl, cut the foolery. All they're looking at is that figure. Clown. <laughs> I agree 100%. Look at what this one person put, Casual Kush, saying, Y'all need to stop acting like anything people post is being done unwittingly. If I saw her out in public and she had this on and started talking to me about God, I wouldn't question her at all. She can't help her shape, nor could she have predicted our conversation. However, let's be for real. This video was planned, and if you don't think she wore this in order to generate more attention, views, you're extremely naive. Clout affects Christians and Gentiles alike. <laughs> Look at this one guy, J. Dave Jerry one saying, Wonderful body. Yeah, exactly. This guy is not he does not give two shits about the message this woman has to say because this is not the real gospel. To prove it even furthermore, you have this one person by the name of Dry Hair saying, "Who waited until the end hoping she'll walk away?" Hashtag disappointing. You see, all these clowns want is for this woman to walk away so they could get a view of that ass. Here you have this person by the name of Kim Briano saying, "Are you preaching the word of God?" Or are you just seducing men? So as you can see, nobody's buying it. Nobody's buying it. How in the world do you wish to actually... Because let's keep it a book, right? She has a large platform, this woman. I'm not going to even pronounce her name because her name is even, <laughs> is even crazier to pronounce than the first one. But here she is dressing totally unseemly just to uh, preach the gospel, right? Oh, God has a blessing for you. Let's cut the let's cut the nonsense. Stop the cap, y'all. We know damn well why she dresses that way. Because there's a bunch of thirsty dudes that they again they don't care two shits about Jesus. They'll press that like button. Oh yeah, yeah. They, they, they'll make the algorithm favor you. Oh yeah, sure. You might get some brand deals. Oh yeah, sure, you might get some money, sure. But the real message is not being preached. It's not being preached. Again, when you have verses that clearly said women, you get what I'm saying? You should be dressed modestly. Modestly. Now, when I say this, I hate women or I'm misogynistic. No. It's because, like I said, I understand how men think. There's a bunch of filthy dogs out there. They do not give two shits about your soul. They don't care. They will tell you everything you want to hear because all they want to do is get their little pee-pee wet. That's just, that's just the truth. 
That's that's the truth. You see, when you actually start operating the way the Most High wants you to operate, and I'm talking about I'm talking to the men now, right? Do you actually just view these women as just a piece of me? It's utterly ridiculous. Rather than actually viewing that woman as someone that has a soul, that has a soul. And some of y'all might be thinking that, oh, you know, why can't women dress however they want? Look, cut, like I said, cut the cat. We know why you do it. And men can operate in the same way. There's a bunch of men that wear a bunch of tight clothes and all this. They know why they doing it. They probably want to show off their muscles. Men do the same thing. So it's not about, it's not me being misogynistic. It's me calling BS for what it is. It's BS. You do not need to preach the gospel in such a manner. A woman that's finding Christ, she should absolutely change their wardrobe. As for a man, man sh men should do the same exact thing. There's many things that men do in the world. When you come to Jesus, it should convict you. The Holy Spirit should convict you be like, maybe I shouldn't talk this way no more. Maybe I shouldn't operate this way no more. Maybe I shouldn't go here anymore. Maybe I shouldn't dress here just like this, like I used to anymore. Right? That, convict, that process of you actually being convicted by the Holy Spirit, it should transform you. Just like the Bible said, you know, be ye re, um, transformed by the renewing of your mind. Yeah, when your mind is renewed, you start realizing that things that you formerly liked and desired, you don't want to partake in those things anymore. So absolutely, your attire will change. Because think about it. We we read it. I'm going to land the plane by saying this, right? We read in the, the book, the Bible, right? And we got to understand these people, these people that are originally were in the book. What geographical location did they live in? Right? We talking about pretty much Israel, right? Uh, uh, in the east. What does it look like for a woman to be dressed with tight, skimpy clothing in the middle of the desert trying to get water from a well? What does it look like? <laughs> it doesn't make sense. Just look at the women over there and it will show you clearly how they dress. This woman till this day, you know, is unfortunate because a lot of the Israelite culture, you know, has been um, pretty much stolen, uh, and that's 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 a, that's a topic for another day. But you can see the just look at the people that exist in the east over there. When you have the sun beaming on you, that's why they have all this clothing, right, to cover themselves from the rays of the sun. They not dressing with no skimpy clothing they're not revealing too much skin they're not doing this they definitely don't have no, no makeup do you know all that makeup that would be dripping all over their face it's just nonsensical it's nonsensical women this is the message value yourself have some dignity love yourself enough to understand that your body belongs to the most high and yah willing you know most high willing Eventually your husband Let your husband see your hair Let your husband see your features And your curves He will thank you in the future Trust me when I'm saying this Don't show your body for every single dude I don't need to see How you women look I don't <laughs> I don't I don't These thirsty dudes out there Don't need to know how you look and <laughs> They don't I, 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 this this should honestly be clear, but and I'm sure it is for a righteous women out there, for the women they, they are women that know exactly what I'm talking about. But all the three or fours, all the thoughts, all the holes, the yeah, they're gonna keep making excuses. Oh, I could dress however I want. It's my life. Is I'm doing it for me? Yeah, I've, I, we we all heard it before. Anyway, if you guys like videos like this, please like, subscribe, comment down below, do all that YouTube stuff. And with that being said, Nick over and out, the message sent, Jesus is King, y'all. Yeah.